Hey guys, welcome to the very first episode of the new side series I'm starting on CK Productions where we teach you more about how we make our videos and you give you guys some tips on how to make your own videos as well. So in this first episode, we're going to talk about something I've had to deal with a lot lately in the films I've been working on recently, and that is sound effects. Now we all know that all movies, TV shows, web videos, they all need sound effects in them, but when you're doing low budget filmmaking, sound effects are sometimes hard to come by. While you may have great visual effects and cinematography, a badly timed or poor quality sound effect can really be distracting sometimes. Sometimes a quick and easy solution, but not always a good solution, is to completely forego this sound effects and music and just make it completely silent. But that's doesn't always work. For example, Mommy! While we clearly see that Joe is getting beat up, we don't get the full experience without the music and sound effects behind it. Let's see that again. So another reason why using good sound effects is important to our channel is because we do a lot of visual effects in our videos. And because they're visual effects, they obviously don't have inherent sounds. This is especially important if you're doing animation films or animation videos because obviously there are no sounds inherently at all in the end. You're pretty much building your own soundscape to it. In the end, all visual effects shots need a good sound effect to go with it. Boom. Ahem. A good fitting sound effect. That's another issue. Sometimes it's so hard to find a sound effect that fits what you need. Especially when you're looking up something specific as giant blue flashy energy ball thingy sound effect. So the question is, where do you find all these good sound effects to use. If you have a Mac computer, it comes chock full of all these sound effects and music tracks that come with iMovie and GarageBand. It's a good start, but however, they're pretty cheesy and they're normally really recognizable to people who have done filmmaking for a while. It's not a bad option if you're a young filmmaker and you're just starting out or you're making like a cheesy action film or something, but eventually these sound effects are going to get old. A very common technique to get sound effects in filmmaking today is Foley. Foley is the reproduction of everyday sound effects added to film, video, and other media in post-production to enhance video quality. These reproduced sounds can be anything from like swishing cloth, footsteps, squeaky doors, and breaking glass, all that type of stuff. Foley is really good when you need a specific sound that you can't find online. It also gives you a controlled environment where you can control the sound quality, the pitch, the loudness, rather than having to work with the quality of someone else's sound effect. When doing Foley and any other recording of audio, it's good to have a pretty decent audio recorder and microphone to go with it to get that high quality of sound that you want. This is not gonna cut out when it comes to sound recording. For CK Productions, we don't always have access to the best audio equipment we can get, so sometimes Foley is not something that we do that often. But I would highly suggest it if you can get your hands with some decent audio equipment. Another big resource for sound effects is something you might have heard of a few times. It's something called the internet. The internet has thousands of sites devoted for sound effects and music tracks. Many times if you're doing videos for about like video games, which uh, we never do, obviously, um, there are tons of resources online of sound effects from the games or people have recreated the sound effects on their own. But for your everyday sound effects for your films, it's not always an easy process finding sound effects online. While there are many free resources online, uh, they don't always have the best quality sound effects. And sometimes they often make you jump through hoops to get to them. Also, something to be aware of if you're doing film, some of these sites might not always have the rights to the sound effects that they're offering, and depending on the way that you distribute your film, that might be a problem. Don't get me wrong, there are many of free sites out there that have plenty of really good sound effects on them, but as you move up in the filmmaking world, eventually some of these resources are gonna get too old and they might not cut it for you. 
So my biggest solution when looking for sound effects online, um, I would go and try to find a dedicated website for audio content that has a large number of professional recorded sound effects and music tracks with it. Sometimes this might cost you some money, but trust me, it's not that much money and it's well worth it in the end. One of the websites that we love using is called audioblocks.com. The way Audioblocks works is you pay for a month or a year subscription. And then after that, you have unlimited downloads to any sound effects, music, tracks, loops that they have on their website. And they're all also 100% royalty free, which is very important to what we do. In my opinion, this deal ultimately saves you money because with some other sites, they often make you pay per sound effect that you download. And if you're a dedicated filmmaker, YouTuber, sound designer, or whatever, this is definitely well worth it because we need sound effects. We need a lot of sound effects. We need music tracks for all of our work. The best part about using Audioblocks is you can do a seven day free trial where you can download these professional sound effects and music tracks for free for a whole week. Audioblocks has been super helpful for some of our latest projects because of all the sound effects that have had to be in them. I highly suggest trying this trial out because it will give you a taste of what this site has to offer and it will really show you how helpful a dedicated audio content website can be. The trial works similar to Netflix if you don't cancel at the end of the days. Um, they're going to automatically upgrade you and bill you for a subscription. So like I said, Audioblocks is a great online resource for sound effects and music tracks. And if you want to check it out or even try the 7 day free trial, go ahead and click here or click in the description below. Lastly, I'm going to talk briefly on audio editing software you can use for the sound effects that you get. Using the software is optional because of one, the cost, and to the fact that the, the audio that we use today can be edited very well in the regular non-linear editing softwares we're using. But if you want to get really dedicated into sound design, you might want to look into one or more of these programs. So one, Adobe Audition, which I have open right now. This is Adobe's dedicated sound editing program, which works really well with Premiere Pro and it comes bundled in the Creative Cloud package. There's also Soundtrack Pro, which I've used a number of times, um, that's made by Apple. Unfortunately, Soundtrack Pro isn't made anymore since Apple has moved on from it, but there still are some ways you can get your hands on it. The good thing about Soundtrack Pro is that it comes with a bundle of all these really good sound effects that come with it, much better than the ones that come with iMovie and GarageBand. Finally, there's Avid Pro Tools. Now, Avid Pro Tools is an industry standard for audio editing and it works in conjunction with Avid Media Composer, main video editing program in the professional filmmaking industry today. These programs are expensive, but if you are a student, you could probably get a pretty serious discount on them. In a later video, I'm gonna go into more detail about sound editing and sound design using one or more of these programs. So that's it for this episode. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about getting good sound effects out there. And I hope this makes you feel inspired to go out and shoot your own video and go ahead and try to get your own good sound effects using the techniques and resources that I showed you. Again, if you want to try out the free trial of audioblocks.com, go ahead and click the link in the description below. And stay tuned for more videos in this series. We're going to talk about editing, cinematography, lighting, visual effects, all that good stuff. Let me know in the comments if there's any other filmmaking or YouTube tips that you want to learn more about in future videos. And be sure to subscribe and check out our main videos on our channel as well. And like us on Facebook while you're at it. Until next time, bye.